welcome back to my channel so i have come up with a topic today for you that is self medication so now everybody is in the busy life no time so they are going for one major issue which can lead to a lot of complications so self medication is the mantra now many people are doing this but let me tell you it is going to have a detrimental impact so let me give you more details about self medication today so what exactly is self medication so if you are trying to take some drug or some herb or some home remedies by yourself without taking any advice from a consultant or a doctor basically a consulting doctor so if you are doing this by yourself without any support or without any discussion with your doctor this is called as self medication so nowadays uh, we think that we are our own doctors and we uh, basically try to get these medicines from the uh, uh, over the counter drugs are available now very easily so we just google this condition what drug and we go and get it without even thinking what might be the side effects of these over the counter drugs so there are a lot of serious effects which can happen because of drug drug interaction or drug food interaction so let me give you more details about that today apart from that drugs can even lead to antibiotic rest so antibiotics are basically used to kill bacteria if you have any bacterial infections and on a long run if you try to take this kind of medicines without any proper consultancy then it might lead to something called as antibiotic resistance which is a very serious condition and apart from that it can lead to various other allergic conditions it can lead to kidney damage also because the kidney is the purifying system in our body and too much load of this medicines can lead to kidney damage and you might you might even end up with dialysis which is again a problem it might lead to other effects like your bones might become weak you might have heart related issues and much more so let me give you much more details on that today so coming to india so uh, according to a uh, statistics 52% of indians self medicate so this is really going to be a tough time if this continues and uh, as i told you we play doctors and we feel that it is very minor simple issue what to do we can take a medicine and sit at home so that is going to be a very difficult task and most of the time what happens is if you go to consult a doctor it can become a expensive uh, 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 thing there because what happens is they will have their own consultancy uh, uh, consultation uh, fees apart from that they might write few tests for you so that you do those tests and that again will cost you more so this is one major reason why most of the people go for self medication but you should be very careful when you self medicate you have to check for those whatever i'm going to tell you today about the drug drug interaction drug food interaction so that is very important otherwise the problem of antibiotic resistance or any other issues will be much much higher so basically why do people self medicate so they think that they can take care of themselves they are very intelligent they don't require anyone's help lack of time is one major thing because people are very busy now they don't have time to go to a doctor okay so healthcare facilities has to be improvised so if uh, anybody tells you through a mobile they are ready to take it but going to a doctor and taking the prescription they do not have time for that so this has become a major constraint and i also told you about the financial constraints because of the expensive nature of healthcare and uh, they are ignorant they feel that it is a simple uh, task and that is the main problem and we have our people to help us that is the one more issue because one person has some issue he has a medication uh, medication with him he might share it with the next person thinking that he will try to help him but we don't know what are the other conditions with the second person and there is a chance that the drugs which he is prescribing now might interact with the drugs which he is already taking for some other condition and it might lead to a detrimental impact to him so this has to be very very uh, uh, taken into consideration and we have to see that we don't end up in this complications of self medication so apart from that excessive advertisements of these drugs to cure this and cure that is leading to much more uh, problems and uh, are we also know that uh, we blindly believe believe or trust on these chemists okay so they tell you that this drug is good for that this drug is good for this and we blindly trust them 
so that also might lead to complication sometimes so this is one of the uh, thing which i read recently dolo 650 is india's favorite snack okay so you can just imagine snack as medicine this is going to be a very uh, difficult thing for us to even understand that so uh, basically you can see the sales of this particular uh, medicine that that is dolo 650 since march 2020 so with this covid thing everywhere people are having fever and other things and they are trying to take dolo 650 and you can see the sales of it rupees 5 6 7 crores so this is the intensity by which people are trying to self medicate so most of them would not would not go to a doctor there and they would get dolo 650 at home and take it and sleep if they are having uh, uh, any kind of issues like fever cough and etc so in this way uh, self medication is leading to lot of issues which have to consider so these are few drugs just to make you aware about various conditions and what are the drugs which are commonly preferred so if you have a cough we go for the cold benadryl if you have any uh, pain related things you might go for saridon if you have uh, uh, fever you might go take a crocin if you have uh, uh, if you require a antiseptic you might go for detol kind of systems if you go for antibiotics we have different antibiotics so in this way based on the word of mouth we try to take some of the other medicine for our uh, personal needs but sometimes these medicines on a long run can lead to a lot of health impacts so this is just to show you that so what are the potential risks so one important thing here is self medication the main issue with that is we can uh incorrectly self diagnose so we will think it is something and take medicine for that but it may not be that situation actually because of which it can lead to cross reactions and we don't don't know how these drugs interact in our system and that can lead to a lot of pharmacological risk because each drug will have its own pharmacological profile in our body like how it is getting absorbed how is it, how is it getting eliminated from the system so there is a, a, a normal system there and that failure might uh, occur if you're not taking the drug in proper uh, proportions it can lead to various side effects like allergies it can lead to uh, other problems also and uh, basically sometimes what happens is we take a drug based on the name like crocin or dolo and we don't know what are the active ingredients present in it and sometimes you take two three medicines of same active ingredient they can be a overdose of this active ingredient which might lead to many more failures in the uh, system actually so in this way uh, without knowing the active ingredient it is very difficult to take any drug when you are taking multiple drugs you have to check on the constitution of it not only the brand name so this is the most important thing which we have to consider and uh, one more important thing that i told you is we blindly believe the believe the chemists which might be right to some extent but sometimes it can be uh, uh, playing the other way around so incorrect route of administration also might lead to issues because each drug will have its own route of administration some are topical drugs some are oral drugs so based on the route of administration we have to take that in that particular fashion because only if you take in that particular route of administration for which it is designed it will give it give its effectiveness otherwise you will not get the effect of that particular drug and on the prolonged use it can lead to drug abuse also and uh, as i told you it can also lead to issues like food drug interaction drug drug interaction and many more so uh, some things that you may not be knowing so which you should know i'll be highlighting that now so one is drug drug interaction so this is something like one drug is interacting with the other drug so imagine you have uh, uh, all, you have been taking uh, or uh, some medicine for sleep so you're not getting proper sleep so doctor has suggested some sedative uh, sedative to you you're taking it daily now you have some cough related issues so you will take some cough syrup so there is a chance that these sedatives and cough syrup can interact so drug drug interaction can happen so in this way there are certain things which can have a, a complexity and once these interact with each other the drug will be not be available for its action in your body so even though you are taking cough syrup your your cough is not reducing one reason might be this drug drug interaction that is happening because of which the cough syrup is not capable of 
reducing the cough in you. So in this way, there are various uh, systems and various complications that can happen with drug-drug interaction. So this you will get to know only with consultation with your doctors and they can tell you properly like which drug and which drug you should give a gap in between uh, taking these drugs so that the interaction can be reduced. Other thing is drug food interaction. So uh, food in the, types, uh, in the type of solid or in the type of liquid. So certain times when you're taking certain drugs, uh, doctors will tell you in case you're taking alcohol, please do not take it when you're taking this particular prescription or this particular medicine. Be that is because they can be food drug interaction or food, uh, uh, I mean food drug interaction or the uh, liquid interaction. So in this way, uh, these interactions are again leading to complications. So this we will get to know only with the consultation with your doctors. Another one important thing is drug condition interaction. So what condition means if you are already suffering from some kind of condition like might be health related like heart problems or asthma or any kind of blood pressure then taking a particular type of drug can lead to complication to that particular condition. So let me give you an example here. So when we have uh, nasal congestions okay when we have nasal blocks we take the uh, nasal sprays right. These nasal sprays are decongestants. They try to reduce the blocks. So you can see here when your uh, nose is blocked, your uh, system, uh, the blood vessels in the nose look something like this. But once you take the nasal sprays, the blood vessels constrict. Okay, so since the constriction of the blood vessel is seen, the passage of air can happen and you can breathe properly. So this will relieve your nasal block. But what happens is this nasal congestants will have an impact on your blood pressure. So in case you are suffering from high blood pressure, if you have high blood pressure already, you know that blood pressure is nothing but pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of the arteries. So here, if it starts applying pressure on those regions, then definitely your blood pressure is going to increase even more, which can lead to other complications. So in this way, uh, we can simply not take nasal uh, sprays whenever you want so there are prescription for that like how many times a day you have to follow that very strictly if you simply start uh, putting nasal drops to yourself just because you have nasal blocks in a day five to six times it can have detrimental impact like this so self-medication should be taken only with proper prescription and only with proper understanding like when to take what to take only that can help you so other things is side effects as I told you because of the drug, drug interaction or drug foot interaction which we need to work on. One more major issue with the self medication which has led to complexity is antibiotic resistance. So as I told you for bacterial infections basically we use a drug called as antibiotics and there are various types of antibiotics the various uh, names are there for antibiotics now what is happening so i will just show you this slide here you can just see this is a petri plate with a uh, medium and a particular organism which has infected the person has been smeared on the plate and now they are trying to find out these are the discs which you can see here these are the particular antibiotics and from this if there is a clearance zone around the drug it tells that it this antibiotic has the capability to kill this particular organism. So the more the clearance zone, more is the effectiveness of that particular antibiotic for that particular organism. So that is the basic simple thing which everyone can understand from this particular plate. But you can see now uh, these so many drugs they have tried and this is giving the highest efficacy. So this is the drug which will be most beneficial and most effective if it is given for treatment of this particular disease, whatever it is. But now here you can see this particular antibiotic is not giving any zone of inhibition. Can you see that? So here you can see all zone of inhibitions that are there, but this particular drug, so this is this also might be a good drug which was used pre previously and previously it was giving something like this. Okay, it was giving something like this for this particular strain. But now you can see this drug is not working. Why is it not working? Because organisms are developing resistance towards the antibiotic. And if this happens, if the self-medication will continue, organisms will become more and more smart and they will try to develop resistance towards the antibiotic. So in future, what happens? Even if you take this drug, okay, they can be like, there is no inhibition zone happening around this. So if that happens, this is going to be a very detrimental state. So you have to take care about that. 
okay so apart from that uh, we have to take care about how to develop or how to have septic conditions so washing your hands regularly maintaining social distancing those these kind of uh, uh, things can help you so coming to uh, various other disorders as i told you so sedatives if you are taking if you are having any mental illness taking medicines by yourself without a prescription by a doctor can be very dangerous because when you are having mental illness you are you will not be in a proper state of mind and it can be very very risky if you are trying to self medicate or taking some prescription from somebody else and trying to uh, take those kind of medicines because when you are having mental illness your risk of harming yourself self harming or harming others is much much higher and that can lead to much more complexity if you are trying to self medicate so people who are having a mental illness should definitely not self medicate so they have to have the prescription and they have to continuously meet their doctors because based on their condition they might increase the dose or decrease the dose so your dosage will not remain the same throughout your life so that you have to remember that so what happens is sometimes these people will go one or two times to the doctor take their prescription and they will continue the same medicine life long so that should not happen because based on the condition your prescription or the concentration that is required might increase or decrease if you do not take that it can lead to detrimental impacts like suicides and other cases might happen so you have to take care about that so apart from that i have already told you about the nasal congestions uh, which will lead to blood related problems they uh, further it can lead to heart related issues also you might have a heart attack because of the pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of the arteries and dialysis because of the kidney damage that has been caused because of continuously taking the same drug for years and years your kidney cannot take it even uh, 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 further and it might lead to kidney damages so in this way a lot of complications can be seen not only that your drug if it is not going to be absorbed properly there is a phenomenon called as malabsorption if that happens your bone strength also reduces and once your bone strength reduces you know you can have multiple fractures so there is lot of bone related problems that can happen and i've already made some videos on bone related issues like osteoporosis and other things you can watch that also if you're interested for much more details so coming to the take away messages definitely government and uh, pe uh, people should be very vigilant here they have to take necessary steps so that we regulate properly like in, even if you are taking self medication read the prescription properly see the active ingredient in it see if you have to take some gap between one medicine and other medicine so in this way we have to uh, take a lot of precautions when you are taking this and uh, definitely we have to avoid complications by uh, not prescribing medicine to somebody else which you have because for other person it might be something else only because of his condition he might uh, the doctor might tell that this prescription should not be given to that person so those kind of complications can happen so we have to be uh, vigilant about that and i have already told you about antibiotic overdose which can again lead to antibiotic resistance which can be very complex situation and we should try to avoid the drug drug interaction or drug food interaction so that the effective nature of the drug can be uh, got okay if that continues like if the drug is interacting with the other drug or the drug is interacting with the food material then the drug which you have taken for a particular uh, cause that is to treat a particular disease will not be done so that is why you have to be very careful there and uh, strict uh, implementation of rules like uh, over the counter drugs if they are giving they have to prescribe properly or they have to tell properly how to use it when to use it so those kind of strict regulation has to come and definitely healthcare should be made more and more affordable so with uh, this initiatives i think we can try to help uh, us so be responsible definitely you have to trust your doctors and healthcare should be more, uh, made more affordable so stay vigilant stay safe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching please share this video with maximum people so that it can benefit one and all thank you so much